Hello, everyone, and welcome to day four of NWABA's seven-day Pilates challenge. Today's focus is on the glutes and the hamstrings. Let's go ahead and get started in a standing position. Let's start with our squats. So for squats, let's have our feet about shoulder width apart, toes point forward. Bend your knees, sink your bottom back like you're going to sit in a chair. This might cause your um, torso to hinge forward. That's totally fine, as long as your back stays straight and flat, so you're not arching your spine forward, pulling your belly button to your spine. So come on. So go ahead, bend those knees, sink your bottom back. As you bend your knees and sink your bottom back, keep your knees trapped over your toes or over your ankles. So the work stays in those glutes and those hamstrings rather than in your knee joint. For balance, I'll have my hands in a fair position in front of my chest. And then when I stand up nice and tall, I extend my arms by my sides. Do whatever helps you best. Nice deep breath. Nice job. Okay, shake out those squats. Let's go into good mornings. So hands on my hips, feet hip width apart, toes point forward. And then have a slight, tiny little bend in your knees just so that your legs aren't blocked. Pinch forward at the waist. So push your hips back as your chest rotates to point down towards the ground. Then lift your chest back up, stand nice and tall. Repeat, push your bottom back, chest points down, go ahead and lift back up. So your knees aren't adding a bend here. It's more so just pushing those hips back behind you. This is, and good mornings are an unweighted deadlift, strengthening those glutes and hamstrings. Belly buttons pulled into your spine. All right, shake that out. We're gonna make our way down to the ground. I'm gonna lay on my right side. So my right side is gonna be down on the ground. My left side is gonna to face towards the ceiling. Take your legs, if, since you're laying in a straight line and just lift your legs just maybe a few inches forward. So you're no longer in a straight line. Your feet are a little bit ahead of your hips. Now, when we're doing our side kicks down here on the ground, your right elbow can go beneath your right shoulder. You can rest your head on your right arm laying long, or you can rest your head in the palm of your right hand, whatever is most comfortable for you. Left hand goes on the ground, palm face down in front of your chest. Now, flex your left foot. We're gonna be working left side here. Lift it up to hip height still hovering over your right. And we are going to kick our left leg forward, keeping it at a hip height, and then point your toes to kick it backward. So flex to kick forward, point to kick back. Trying to keep your upper body as still as possible as you go through this kicking motion. That might decrease your range of motion, but that's okay. Still working the same muscles and actually getting deeper into it. Belly button stays full to spine. Okay, now we're gonna switch out and stack your left leg over your right leg again. Left leg is at hip height. Left leg lifts up towards the ceiling and lowers. Keep that left foot flexed here. Up and down using your range of motion. Again, upper body still. Belly button folded to spine. All right, shake that out. We're gonna switch sides. Lay on your left side this time. Once you're laying on your left side, right side of your body points towards the ceiling. Pick your feet up just a few inches so they're a little bit ahead of your hips. Now, right or left elbow can be beneath left shoulder. Forearm flat on the ground. You can lay your left arm out long, rest your head on your arm, or rest your head in the palm of your left hand. Right hand, palm face down in front of your torso, pushing into the ground to help with stability. Lift up your right leg to hover at hip height. Flex your foot, kick forward at hip height, then point your toes, kick backward, keeping your upper body still. Lifting those glutes and hamstrings. Flex your foot to kick forward, point your toe to kick backward. Back. 
and stack that left, that right foot over your left. Once again, flex that foot. Now lift your heel to the ceiling or lift your leg to the ceiling and then lower back down to hover. Using the range of motion that works best for you. Upper body sits still, belly button pulls into spine. Pushing through the palm of your right hand for more stability. Good job. Go ahead and rest that leg down. We move on to a new exercise, donkey kicks. So we're gonna get into tabletop position. So that means you're in, your hands are beneath your shoulders, knees are beneath your hips here. And for donkey kicks, pull your belly button to your spine. You want your back nice and flat for the duration of this exercise. Now, curl your right toes under. You're gonna keep this 90 degree bend in your right leg and you're gonna point your knee back behind you. So right heel goes towards the ceiling. So keep that bend, back stays flat. So you could balance a bowl of soup on it and it wouldn't spill. Bring your knee back down to starting position. Kick your heel back to the ceiling once again. So knee in line with your other knee. He points back behind you as heel reaches towards the ceiling. Now, if your back arches as you're doing this, just decrease your range of motion. You're working the same muscles and if your back is not arching, you're actually getting more work than if your back is arching. So it doesn't matter what your range of motion is, as long as the back is flat, you're isolating that glute muscle. So the, your entire body is still aside from your right leg. Beautifully done. Rest that leg, switch sides. Left heel, or left foot flexes now. Take your left heel up towards the ceiling, left knee points behind you, bring it back to starting position. Strong, your entire body still aside from your left, keeping that bend in your knee, squeezing those glutes. Back is so flat, your soup still not spilling. That's accomplished by your belly button pulling into your spine. Your back is arching, at all, decrease your range of motion, just kick a little bit less further back. You'll get right back into that work and that isolation. All right, three, two, one. Now we're gonna come and lay on our front side. So go ahead, lay down, belly on the ground, rest your head on your hands. So my palms are Face down, stacked on each other. My forehead's resting on the back of my hand. Legs are long behind me. Now, keeping your left foot rested for now, take your right foot and lift it off the ground. So, right leg lifts. You'll feel a squeeze in your glutes and your hamstrings, the back of your thigh. And then lower, lift and lower. So as you're doing this, your belly button is pulled into your spine to keep the rest of your body stable. Again, the rest of your body is still. Right leg is nice and straight, toe pointed. Right leg lifts a few inches and lowers. It's only gonna be a few inches because that's what we're working with here with our body in this position. You will feel the burn. That's fine. <laughs> All right, go ahead, rest that down. Repeat on the left side, left toes pointed. Left to his lift, up and down. Up and down. So your entire left leg is straight. Your left leg lifts just a few inches and then goes back. Using your glute, every lift. Belly button stays full, which is fine. Go ahead and rest your left leg. We go into our last exercise. We're gonna stay in this position, except we're gonna rotate our feet. So now left toes are gonna point left, right toes are gonna point right. And then pull, push your hips to the ground, pull your belly button into your spine, and you're gonna lift both legs this time. Head stays rested. And now squeeze your heels towards each other and then release. Squeeze heels towards each other and release. So heels will come Closer together, just a few inches, and then they will release up to the sides, keeping them lifted the entire time. Squeeze, release, squeeze, release. You feel this 
to the outside of your bottom. Feel the burn. Done. All right, and rest. That concludes today's session. So tune in tomorrow for day five, where we work on strengthening the whole backside of our body. Hope you enjoyed.